In today's video, we're using napkins in a variety of ways. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have Happy Mail and then I have day six where we're gonna be using napkins to put into six different places. I also wanna show you a couple of things that are in the Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and I wanna show you my Happy Mail. This came from Kelly. And first she sent this beautiful card that she made using the adorable girls from the um, Pink Christmas digital kit from Dear Julie Julie. I absolutely love it. I love the card as well. Thank you so much. So um, a long card that fits one of the large envelopes. What a great idea. And then the little sticker here. So um, I can't wait to put that up with my other Christmas cards. Thank you, Kelly. And we'll save this part, this one for last here. So I'm so excited. She, she had mentioned when I used the placemat the other day that, oh, she said, oh, I've got some of those. I forgot. And she put a couple of them in here for me. So... I'm excited to use these. They are nice, you guys. They're a thicker paper, and this one has the cookies. Oh my gosh. I actually, I might frame one of these and put like a saying or something on the front of it. I really like it. I like it a lot. Thank you, Kelly. So that is, that is that. And then I wanted to show you this because I think I'm going to use these in my um, project today. So the home for the holidays. And I don't know where she got these, but they're, it's printed on all four sides. I think it's going to be fun to be able to take this because, you know, we are going to be home. And this one also has four. And let's see. You get the truck pointed that way and the truck pointed that way. I love this edge also. So that's pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to using that. And then some extra large crossword puzzles. This one has a scorecard on it. Um, I don't know how that works, but it looks pretty, pretty cool. And then, oh, okay, so these probably go with those. I don't know. But it, anyway, look at these. Isn't that cool? Promises, promises. Sound orthography. <laughs> and there we go. So there's three of those and three of these. This will be fun. Oh, look at this one. It says Crafty Shenanigans. <laughs> Disc for sealing letters. Okay, so. Okay, and then wrapped in this. Okay, so then I put the. This is all the embellishments that I'm still trying to use. Um, but I don't know if you all know, but our Kelly is an author. And she had a Christmas book. And I told her to go ahead and to um, put, you know, put the information in the scrap all about it with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. So if you search Kelly Hankins in the scrap all about it, um, this post will come up. But it is her plan to perfection and Ozark's Christmas. A Little Christmas Magic Brings a New Beginning, Angela Drake. And so, it's I, I got an autographed copy. Yay! You guys, I pick out a Christmas book each. Oh, I love this. This is going in my, um, this will actually go in my today's, um, in my December daily. 
but I pick out a Christmas book every year to read on Christmas. And I, I had done that when I was younger. And then, um, when I got divorced and, and the way that our, uh, custody agreement was I had the kids Christmas Eve until 10 on the morning. So Santa could come to my house and then, then, um, their dad had them for a couple of days. And so I had to rearrange my whole Christmas day. My family did Christmas Eve. You know, we lost my parents last year, so Christmas is very different now. But up until um, we lost my parents, Christmas Eve was my mom. My mom couldn't wait to open presents. And if you came to her house a few days before Christmas, she was probably going to pull something else out and make you open it. <laughs> so... Um, Anyway, I'm really excited to be able to have this and to read this on Christmas Day. So I might read it before then. I might not be able to wait. So she also sent um, a little tea card. And it actually it has apple cider herb tea in it. This is really cute with the um, the picture. I'll also I'll I will have this when I when I read the book. But I'm going to put these in. Um, actually, I'll put this in today for getting the book. And I'll put this in on the day that I, when I read the book. So, um, so I am so excited. Thank you so much, Angela. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kelly. I, I am really excited. So do check that out. Again, if you search Kelly Hankins or search Angela Drake on... Um, I believe people were finding it on Amazon. And so, yeah, our very own Kelly Hankins, she, you know her. She is one of my moderators. She holds a wrench <laughs> during the videos. And so thank you so much. And I'm going to use this tissue because, um, you know, I like to, oh, we want to make sure, well, I'll put that in there for now. I don't want to lose it. Um, I want to give you options. So thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. And now we're going to move on to making. Oh, you know what? Let's show you what's in the Etsy shop real quick. So one of the things is this set of napkins. Since it's napkin day, I will show you. There's still a few of these in the shop. Okay, so this is what you actually get. You get these vintage these vintage christmas um playing cards and these two that look like they're vintage okay so you get the playing cards this is a vintage christmas napkin this is on one side and then the other three sides have just the little tiny bunch of the flowers there or the the berries then you get this poinsettia and it has the poinsettia on two sides and the pine cone on the other you get the ho 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 with the mustache and been good all year silly question so that's on one side and the other three sides are pink with the zebra you get this little red truck and on the other three sides, it has the little Christmas tree. Okay, so you get one red truck, three Christmas trees. Joy is just a cocktail away. And then you get joy, joy, joy. Merry Christmas. The little bear with joy. I love this napkin. I've used it up. <laughs> Uh, from my 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 set of these napkins. So you get the little Christmas tree The chalkboard Merry Christmas and then the chalkboard um, On the other three sides, it's oh So you get two Merry Christmas and two of the mitten We have Noel Noel Fa la la llama Fa la 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 llama. Fa la 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 llama. And you get the little llama. 
So, and then the, the llama kits in the shop also have these um, napkins in them. So you get the little white llama. He'll be cute on a page, like a tattoo. And then you get this one as well. Okay, then you get the large poinsettia and it has small poinsettias in the corners. Okay. And this one is the poinsettia with the plaid. And then you get the pine cone on the other side. Then you get the truck with the trailer, home for the holidays. And on the other side of this one is the trailer. Isn't that cute? So the other side of that one is the trailer. Then you get this collaged Merry Christmas. You get this um, holly on the checkerboard. You get this snowflakes. That makes a great page, the snowflake one. You get the cardinal, and the cardinal is on all six sides. So you get, you'll get six cardinals plus the plaid. And then you get the beautiful berry wreath. And it's on two sides. And then look at the edge on that. So, um, so that is what you get in the napkin kits, the napkin sets for the Christmas. And then I have added one more thing to the shop and these are limited i just have a few of them um, i'm gonna see if i can get more they are so much fun it is a banner it is a christmas banner that says merry christmas and then the letters have it looks very vintage okay so this it looks very very vintage and um, so there's M, there's E, how cute is that? The snowman for R. A cute little reindeer. The snowman. These are hard, it's hard to hold this. <laughs> okay, I'll put this back together. And go to the next one. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Is there a, was there a Y? Yeah, there's a snowman for the Y. That cute little thing. Another snowman. If you like snowman, it's got a lot of snowmans. Oh, look at the bear with the little puppy. And the little kid. And the teddy bear, and there's Santa with the lantern, and the kitty cat. So you could fussy cut these out. There's another reindeer, and the little squirrel with the big ears. So do you have big eared squirrels where you are? We do not. Our squirrels have regular size ears. But supposedly we have like something called a jackalope. <laughs> I don't know if they're real or not, to be honest. But anyway, yeah. So do you have the squirrels with the big ears? I have a couple of images of the squirrels with the big ears in one of my digital kits that's coming out um, one of these days. Okay, so I have those. Those are in the shop. And they are a banner that says Merry Christmas. So, um, and they are limited, limited supply. Okay, so we need six napkin places or tissue paper. So you can use either napkins or tissue paper for this part. And um, that is for this journal. I've got just so much going on here. It's like, okay, so here is our... December journal 
And so one of the things that I like to do is to go through and see if I can find a white page. Wow, we're pretty good on... There's a white page. So we did um, a lot of folding and stuff on our on our cardstock pages, but here's one. Okay, so here's a cardstock page. And so I'm thinking, now I don't have a whole lot of my Christmas napkins that are that are left. But I think this would be really pretty in here. This um, poinsettia. Or this one. This one probably will fit better on this page. Okay, so this is the same one that came in the kit. And look at there. I think I can go ahead and put that on the page. Let's go ahead and... Take the ply off. Okay, so you just want to to separate the page, the pieces, and we'll just check this. It doesn't look like there's another piece, but I always want to check. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead get a measurement here. Looks like if I cut about. Um, a quarter of an inch and you see I'm going to use the side that's white this one has a little more color to it I'm going to use the the one that's white and use the whole go all the way up okay Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put glue all on this page and then I'm going to put some of my liquid glue around the outside. And the reason I'm going to do that is I have had a couple of my things come undone and which is kind of irritating. I'm looking for a paper to use as a back it's like, oh no, that's good paper. Oh no, that's good paper. It's all good paper, right? It's all good. We need to save that. And my trash is got no big papers in it at all. And since I've taken the printer out of here, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this page behind it just so that I don't end up with any glue on um, that page. I'm going to clean off the top of my glue stick. I'm going to go ahead and get it really, really wet with the glue, okay? You gotta work fast with the glue stick because the glue stick does dry pretty fast. Come down here, add a second coat. Go up here, add a second coat. Then we're gonna go around the outside edge with the liquid glue. And that's just so that for sure the napkin has something that's going to um, make it stay. Okay, I am. I want this to line up on the outside as best I can. I can't see. Can't see. Hopefully, hopefully we got it kind of straight. I've got some wrinkles. Okay, I'm okay with the wrinkles. <laughs> okay, I can can flatten some of them out. Okay. So adding a page just like that and then I'll need to come back in and trim this out. And I'm going to, the other day we had some extra plastic. Yay! So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. 
so that those pages won't stick together. So I'm going to come back. So that counts as one. And then from the other side, um, another thing that we can do is we can go ahead and rip around our image. Okay. Now this image is the one that's kind of got a, a different colored background. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and have it start It's okay. So I'm holding it with my left and tearing with my right. Um, okay, so that gives me just a corner. So one of the things I like to do when I have just a corner is I do like to go ahead and add them up on top of a page like this. Okay, so there's probably going to be something in this pocket. But this up here gives us decoration for up behind it. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to do the dry decoupage technique. So this time I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put glue all the way around the outside. So around the outside of my image. Okay, and that's going to make sure that my image stays down all the way around the outside, hopefully, right? So just like we went around the outside with the glue on the other one, we're going to go around the outside of the glue on this one. Now, I'm going to come in and I'm going to use the image and for the because it's a poinsettia and it's a flower I'm going to go ahead and go around the petals okay so going around the petals and then I'm going to go in and give it veins like a flower would have I'm also going to come in the center and go around those and then I go ahead and go on the pine cone just so when you see this, um, those images or those places where we have glue, it's just going to look like it's part of the image. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this down. And I usually tap it down just like I'm doing, like you see me doing there. Okay, and then. At the edges, I'll go ahead and see how I'm pushing and then pushing out to the edge to try and get glue as far out to the edge as I can get it. Some of these places didn't get glue and I might come back in and um, either put glue under it or I might come in with my fingernail and pull the, um, pull the piece off, okay? So there's adding it to a corner. How are we doing over here? Okay, now for this one, um, because I'm not all the way up to the edge, I am gonna go ahead and add some washi tape. I am gonna add some glue, just because I wanna make sure that it it stays down because washi tape does have a shelf life and um, you know I don't know how long this was on the shelf before I purchased it but it's been on my shelf for almost a year or for a, a year okay so I'm just gonna add that in and remember, I'm using this washi tape all through my journal. So I'm just going to cut this. We haven't come back and cut the page yet. But there, 
that gives me that it cleans up that edge and um, but I wanted to wait until it was a little bit dry so for trimming this I'm gonna go ahead and turn my book like this and I'll come and trim this edge okay so I'm gonna want to pull it out separate from the rest of the book there we go and then because I'm right-handed I'm gonna go ahead and turn it and turn it okay but I also want to be careful not to cut another page or something else going on and of course if you haven't put your pages in it's going to be much easier to do the trimming part but because we've done the last couple journals where I did the journal and then put it together I thought that I should go ahead and um, put this journal together first and sh you know since I'm supposed to be teaching a variety of ways of doing all the different things okay so there is that napkin page I love it there's that one that makes two okay so um, well, we have this little piece that thinks that it wants to, um, it, it's ready to go in. So let's go ahead and we have this little um, place here from our double tuck from the envelope place. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some glue to half of this envelope little more than half okay I'm gonna put this down I'm gonna go ahead and grab some glue from here let's move this over just so that it's not in the, there okay okay and now I've got glue behind this and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the glue and pinch my napkin edge up Okay, then you can also put it down. But I'm just taking advantage of the fact that I have glue down here. And I'm going to give myself a ruffled edge. Okay. And I end up with a spot down here. I have this piece of... okay so that gave me a ruffle edge now I'm probably going to want to put that in a couple more places as well but that gives us another spot that makes three okay so even on like your um, your graph paper and things like that we can go ahead the really neat thing about a napkin is that it is pretty much see-through okay so this one is giving me a little bit of a difficult time getting this oh, there we go so I could take tape and put tape down To get this started especially if I had tape like where it was supposed to be you can also get your um, finger wet and do that there we go I took I, I, I got some glue there we go and this one again is 
just has one fly coming off, it feels like. Okay, and we can use that somewhere else and or in cleanup. So I'm going to go ahead <coughs> and I'm actually going to cut. Usually I will tear. Okay, we're just going to go and cut around this cute little truck. If you have something with a light gray background, this, this would also make a cute little DIY. Okay, so again, using the, um, you could put very carefully, you can put a uh, glue stick on, on the, your image. It, it's, it's hard though. Okay, so I'm going to go around the edge of the image. Okay. All the way around the edge of the image. Then I'm going to go around the tires. And then I'm going to come and go around the truck. And around its windows, its doors. Okay, so I've gone around the truck. And then I'm going to come and I'm just going to splotch up the Christmas tree. I like doing this because um, when I glue it down, it just looks like the glue is part of the image. Instead of just doing a bunch of squiggly lines on, on it. Okay, so there we go. And we can just attach it. And if it had a white background, that would look even better on, on this page. Okay. So love, 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 love that. Okay. That gives us what? That's four. Okay. Now don't forget that you can. Okay. Let's go ahead and move this here okay you can also put your napkin image on top of another printed image okay so just because it just because you're um, your image has a print on it doesn't mean you can't add a napkin to it. So I'm just trying to show you a variety of ways you need for this challenge. You need to put your um, you need to use your napkin in six different ways, okay? And put it in six different places in your journal. You do not have to do them just like I'm doing it. Especially since I can't even get my napkin to separate. Let's see if I can get some more. There's no glue. Okay. Aha. Now that I moved away from that one, it went, yeah, I'll open it. This, this is real life. This is okay. So here we go. We've got this great image of this truck. I'm going to go ahead and cut the square. Okay, so I'm going to cut the square. 
and I'm gonna put this one on like this okay so um, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the glue stick again with glue around the outside, but I'm going to use it kind of like in a collage. That is not... Put, do you see what I was trying going to do? I was going to put glue on that. That would not be good. Okay, so let's put this behind here. There's one of our cute little notebooks that we made the other day. Okay. Really wet all the way around this area. Then our glue, I know I'm going to want it up here and down here. Okay, and then on the napkin, I'm going to want it on this side. And this side. And I want the whole truck. If I can get the whole truck. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and let this come over onto this page. Oh, we lost, lost some napkin up here. Okay, get this off my fingers. Okay, now this can go like this. We need our plastic and we'll put it right here so that hopefully we don't stick to the page next to us. We're going to have to come back and um, trim this one. I can go ahead and trim this side so I can see this. Uh, napkins and tissue paper are great for Franken pages, um, you know, covering your white space. And you get, I mean, especially if you get the napkins that have like six images, you get a lot of images in a package. Plus, look at, you can see the um, image behind here. So that's really, really, really cool. Okay, so I have one other thing. Right, is that five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so one more thing. And let me... So I will... I've got to get the supplies for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my supplies. I have something that very, very seldom comes to my desk, and that is water. And I do have it in my Dear Julie Julie mug. And um, so, and then I have my packing tape. I'm going to go ahead and take my journal and put it all 
for here out of harm's way and so these are the pieces that I had left of napkins so let's see we have the poinsettia we have the holly okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we are going to take a piece of our you can see I had to practice because <laughs> my first one um, I did the home for the holidays off here did not work so but we're gonna go ahead and take a piece of packing tape um, and find an area on our napkin that we like I like this that it has um, the berries and the holly and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down then you want to make sure that you're you're really um, on the paper okay really on the paper so if I had a like a credit card that would work really good or a, one of those scraper things but I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, bone folder because you you don't want air bubbles if you if you can get them out okay and you could just laminate this and have that be that right there okay so literally you can laminate a napkin just like this and have a beautiful little tag or little flip thing here okay so just like that we could consider that done <clears throat> let's move these over out of the way of the water okay so um, we have pressed this down really, really good. And we're going to go ahead and put this in the water. Okay. Remember I have, I have warm water. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put it in there. Let it do its thing. Okay. And then we're going to come back and we're going to start peeling our napkin off. Okay, and as we peel the napkin off, the sum of the color from the napkin, hopefully, will stay on our tape. Okay, so, but we're, we're pulling all the, the linen or the paper off. You can do this, I've done this with magazines. Um, I haven't tried tissue paper. But I have done magazines, I've done napkins, so you just, it takes a little while to get all off. And you can dump it in the water again. But you can see the gold, you see the gold, you see the berries. Let's put something white underneath there. Or at least, okay, you see how you're, you're getting that? now. It's, it's still wet, so we want to get all the paper, pulling all the paper off. If you want to try this with a small piece to start with, um, to check and see if your napkin is going to transfer, then, um, then I would go ahead and try, I would go, especially, you know, the, the home for the holidays, I got home for HOL. And the, the the rest of it for some reason didn't didn't turn out. Ooh, was that water on my desk? Ah. Okay, so this is cool because even this um, the checkerboard is gonna show up on this one. Okay, so again, it's messy, but it's going to be really cool. 
Okay, you see the, that the leaf is, is showing up. This leaf is showing up. And the gold from the little other element is showing up. Okay, and you could leave some napkin on there and have a variety of um, of textures behind it. But what's going to happen is the tape, as it dries, as the water dries, it's going to get re-stickied. Okay, so um, that, and I have one right over there drying, so we're going to be able to continue this part of the project as soon as we get all of the paper backing off of this. Isn't this fun and messy? Oh my gosh. And I've done this um, semi-successfully with uh, the contact paper from uh, Dollar Tree, which it is, I believe it is contact brand. Well, I have done it with contact brand, um, the just clear contact brand um, paper, and um, my the whole image didn't for some reason didn't take, but I did get parts of the image, and it did it. So I'm going to say it's semi semi worked. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up. Get as much off of it. So this is really fun. If you're, um, you know, you're using a napkin as one of your items in your journal, this is just another way. It gives you, it's going to give you a totally different, I'm, I'm actually using the ply to clean this off. You have to do it real fast before it starts to dry though. Okay. But you can see, you see see the image? Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to set this aside and let it dry. And we'll pull out the other one that we did. And we will go ahead and... So here is the image that I did, and I'm going to go ahead and a tag works really pretty well for this um, with these with these um, pieces. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this down right up to the edges. Okay. Okay, so um, if you want to see another time that I did this that actually turned out really, really cool was the Peacock Journal. And I'll see if I can find that and that and have um, have that video at the at the end of this one so that you can find you can go watch because it, it turned out amazing. But look at this. Isn't this cool? And then we can just take our washi tape, which is something that we've been doing all through this journal, and add the piece of washi tape to the side of this tag. Okay, because you know the 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 packing tape didn't go all the way to that edge, but I can go ahead and do that. And then just trim this down. So with the napkins, you just need to use your napkin in the places, okay? You do not need to, um, 
also add the three items. You just need to use your napkin in the three places. So I need something to go across the top up here. Um, and I'm thinking that the music might be kind of cool across the top. I'm going to go ahead and cut it down. So again, this is from the Happy Mail that I got the other day. I have really had a lot of fun. I've used a lot of this Happy Mail this time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go around my thumbnail. And I'm going to just go with that. I'm I'm thinking that that's going to be fine. I am going to put it, put my glue on the tag. Okay, so this is another thing that I've been using, and this will help finish up this this tag. Okay. Okay, so you just have to use a napkin or tissue paper. That is the, it, it's the rules, uh, the suggestions say napkin. But if you don't have napkins, then you can use tissue paper. Okay, and that's the only rule. You have to use it six in six places and you know, six, basically either six different napkins or the parts of six different parts of the napkins. We just don't want any of them to be exactly the same. Six different ways of using it. Um, they can be similar, just, you know, with a different napkin. Look at that. That, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? And that is napkin packing tape tag. So our other one should just be about finished so you can see the one that we did and oh my gosh this is gorgeous um, I'm thinking I can make two out of this okay so if I go like this And then I can take this one and I can put it on this little tag. Okay. okay try to go right out the edge here. So this is the one that we made, that we just did, and what we can do there is we can take our washi and cut it, and then rip it as close to the center as we can get it. pretty funny pretty funny okay then we can go ahead and have this one hug right at the edge okay so hugged right up to the edge there and this side hugged right up to the edge I'm going to go ahead and pull this down. And OK, 
Okay, again, using my thumbnail. To make the spot that will go there. Okay, and then you can decorate these more, of course, but you just need to have your napkin in six different places. So I hope that this gives you um, ideas. And of course, up here we can also, let's move you out of the way. That one I'll work on a little later. I love these tags. Um, because they're already made. <laughs> it's like, and they're the perfect size for so many things. Okay, I'm thinking, oh, you know what? I think that some of this would be kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my thumbnail to get an area that could be considered the hole. Okay, then I'm going to put, you see I'm using more napkin. Put that down. See if we can there's gonna be something up and around that so I'm not super worried about but I do want my washi tape to finish its journey up to the top of the tag. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and trim it down. So transfer. Napkin transfer beautiful tags what do you think what do you think and then we'll just add something to the top of them and we can still decorate them we have this little seasons here course the, the problem with this is that um, it's now shiny so I am going to use my stapler and I will do two staples here two staples here I like to use two staples because then to me it looks like it's on purpose not like an afterthought so there's that um, we have used this fabric a few places in this journal. And uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead come over here add some eyelash trim I love this okay and then just to save us some bulk we'll use the stapler to go ahead and there we go. Okay, 
So beautiful, beautiful tags from Transfer. And we made we made a couple of them. And they're similar but different. Might as well use that whole piece, right? Yep. And let's go ahead and And look at us go through the, the, the items from the Happy Meal. Also, that's... And that's because I have them right here on the desk. Like, if I put them right here, I will use it. If I put it in a box, I will lose it. Okay, so we have our six uses of napkin. Um, I'd like to know which one's your favorite. Which one, are there any that you have never tried before? And um, if you do do the transfer, I would love to see the results that you got from doing the napkin transfer. So this one, we're going to want to add a little more to this also. Um, I think it can be pretty simple with just some washi going up to the top there. And just going around the, cleaning up the edge. Because remember, I don't like to waste anything. I want to. I want to use everything. So that's why. That's why my desk gets. Well, I'm messy. It just gets messy because I want the stuff right here so that I'll remember to use it. And um, hopefully, when I get the new configuration of my desk, there will be room on the side to. Um, to be able to put stuff instead of it having to be right here where you see everything. But uh, you just never know. <laughs> okay, and then let's see. We do have the music. I'm going to go ahead and put the music on the side here because it's it was also sitting over there waiting for for a job and we'll have these three beautiful I think they're beautiful <laughs> tags I may have to clean the floor. <laughs> Keep putting the fibers on down on the floor. Okay, this one I'm going to try and tie. Double tie. Okay. This eyelash trim is hard to tie. Would you not agree? When you've just got a little piece like this, it's like, do I have the the middle piece? Do I just have some fibers? What do, what's going on here? Okay. So there's that. So that's what we've got. Let's go ahead and shed the fibers here. Okay, so we have our 
transfer tags love 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 them and then we have our truck and we're going to probably want to add some washi or something down along the sides of these two pages but there's our truck page where we added it on top of fabric. Here we added an edge with our napkin. And I'm telling you, this right here does not feel like napkin anymore. It has a different type of feel. It feels really strong. We have our cute little truck on our jumbo graph paper. Our poinsettia on the corner. And our page. Okay, so there's one, there's two, three, four, five, and transfer is six. Okay, and of course, I am going to go back and I'll add a couple more of these, one up here, maybe probably like three of them. I'll add the plaid edge. I think that that will look really pretty. And then we'll find some places for these. There you go. I'm going to put the playlist for the December 2020 Junk Journal Challenge up here. And I am going to add a Christmas... Oh, actually we'll put the peacock um, transfer video up here as well. And YouTube's going to pick a video that it thinks you want to watch. If you go and watch any of those videos or any other YouTube video after this one, it really helps my channel as well as a like and subscribing if you like junk journaling ideas every day because we do do this every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time and we'd love to have you join us. So with that, find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.